paired with Elizabeth Baxter. And why did you pick her? Similarity in ages. So we're both in our 20s and that she was known as a respectful and well-educated and she had a bit of a temper on her so I just kind of relate to that. Before entering custody I was in university. She started from 24 really it says on this. Convicted 10 times for stealing and false pretenses till age 63. So she's had like 40 years of stealing. <laughs> she made a career out of it. Are you happy to talk about what your conviction was? Because conspiracy to supply class A's. And how have you found the prison experience? Closed conditions was horrendous. And then I came to ask him. And this is a lot better. And how do you think that might compare to the experience of Elizabeth Baxter? She had short sentences, so I don't think... I think, like, for you to learn your lesson, you need a, a long stint. But if I had a short sentence, it wouldn't, wouldn't have hit home. But it has, so I you wouldn't know, be coming back here. I hope it was a, a huge mistake. I've got, I've lost a lot through it, so... And I've got to rebuild all that again. And not only that, I've got two children, so it's just, no, no. So how do you think you'd have been treated differently if you were in Elizabeth Baxter's time? Probably, I would have been treated bad. <laughs> to me, it's like, it's just petty crime, what she's doing, it's just stealing. And she can't help doing it, but she just does it, so. She can't help it, she sees something, she has to have it. I think there's a brother that's offered to help her, but she refused it. She said she can't explain. I think I read that somewhere that she couldn't explain why she did it. So, there's no point in getting the help as if she's not going to change.